Well, Qantas frequent flyer members have unleashed their anger with the loyalty program, saying the points have devalued after the pandemic and are almost worthless. The public feedback was submitted as part of a Senate inquiry into bilateral air rights. Well, let's get some more. We're joined by journalist Suzanne Moster and commentator Rob McKnight. Hi, you guys. Nice. Suze, first up, uh, do you think members have a reason to be upset here? Yeah, most definitely, Laz. Um, if you look at the submissions, a lot of them have a running theme, and that is it's gouging, it's useless, they don't have the, the power that they used to, the, the points, and, and that, that Qantas is just taking advantage of people who wanted to use them legitimately from, from you know, flights we already had, but now can't and have to add many more plus a, lot, lo a load of cash. So, yeah, I mean, I think the whole Qantas brand reputation thing, it is heading for terminal. This is just the latest in the litany of issues with Qantas. That's right, Rob. I mean, they've gone from a five-star reputation to a one-star reputation. I, and it happened pretty quickly in this whole scheme of things. How can they turn around? Is, are they capable of turning this around? Look, it's interesting, isn't it? Because from the Qantas frequent flyer points, I brought my family down from the Gold Coast to Sydney a few months ago and actually had no problems booking flights and making that happen. But there is obviously a lot of anger out there. You know, this story says that points that were, you know, it might have cost you 370,000 points to get somewhere now cost 614,000. Anecdotally, that's certainly true. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the problem for Qantas is, as you said, we've lost faith in it. Mm. It used mm. to be one of the most popular, trusted brands in Australia. And in, it, the, in the world. In the world. Yeah. And it isn't now. Uh, you know, Alan Joyce... There's arguments he did a lot of things to get Qantas through tough times and change it, but I've got a friend who works for Qantas. He has always been passionate and loyal about the company he works for. Now he doesn't care. He's like, it's a job mm. now. I go in, I clock in, I clock off, I don't do anything extra. Mm. His heart is broken mm. by the company he loved so much. It's like, it's like watching a divorce going on, the way he mm. reacts. So the, the Qantas word triggers him now. It's unbelievable that they've not only lost their hearts and minds of of customers, but the people who work for them. That's very sad to hear because there are generations in there. Yeah. Are there it's like a sign and dads it's like and kids that and sign. It's like that, sorry, Laz, it's like that Seinfeld episode, you know, the reservation, and, and it's where, you know, <laughs> Qantas, they can offer the points. They just don't know how to honour <laughs> the points. You know, it's really yeah. bad. Well, I spent 850,000 points on a toaster. I thought it was a <laughs> uh, Let's move on. Jamie Lee Curtis has, uh, has praised Pamela Anderson for going makeup free over there in Paris Fashion Week. The actress took to Instagram saying she was impressed with the Baywatch star's act of courage and rebellion. So as people get all dressed up, this is people got a lot of effort for this event. Uh, is it disrespectful not to stick with a dress code and maybe slap on a bit of rouge? Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> like surrender, <laughs> surrender. <laughs> Sorry, was that very <laughs> circus? Sorry, yeah, that was very schlash showman, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, surrender the spack filler girls. No, disrespectful. How she's in her natural state. You know, she doesn't have the typical game face like the Kardashians. You know, she hasn't spent hours with the styling team to get her primped and ready. And what I love about Pam, this has taken away that bombshell illusion that in many ways has dogged her, her whole career since Baywatch days. She's not allowed to get old. If you see some of the comments, particularly from men seeing her naked-faced, uh, they're really condemning and nasty and brutal and trolling. And it's like, mate, how good are you looking? Yeah. I, I think this is but fantastic. But she has sold her... She has made millions based on being that sex symbol. Can you really... Uh, and obviously, obviously men don't have a right to go harshly mm. against her, but do you have a right of them being a bit shocked when they see her for real? Well, I mean, we see her for real and we honour that. We say this is a choice she's made. Every woman can make a choice. I remember 11 yeah. or 12 years ago on the morning show, guys, I stripped off my makeup. I don't know if you remember. That's I right. think, Kyla, yeah. you were horrified. You were like, oh my God, <laughs> I couldn't do that. But it was just to say to people, you know, we are normal people underneath. We look just like everybody else. Mm. Women who wear a lot of makeup professionally, we have another face. And why not put that forward to encourage a younger generation of women to do that? Is it rebellion? I don't think so. As you get older, you go, I've got self-acceptance, I appreciate me for all my imperfections, because perfection doesn't exist in an imperfect yeah. world. Good on her. She looked fantastic. I'm not, and I'm not just saying it. I think she looks better. I think she right. looked, I, I thought she looked right. great. Yeah. Uh, finally, a woman has been left confused after being invited to a friend's gender reveal party. But then get this, she was asked to pay 30 bucks, more than, for food and drinks for the event. So come along to my event... Yeah. And I want you to pay for it as well. Rob, is it rude to charge <laughs> guests 
if you are putting on the party and hosting? It's rude if you say they can't wear makeup. <laughs> they tried to get me to come on this show today without makeup. It wasn't happening, let me tell you that right now. Um, look, when I saw the headline of this, I, I did think, oh my God, are you serious? But then something caught my eye in the article. You didn't have to bring a present. And I thought, this is the deal of a lifetime. A baby shower present, what, 50, 100 bucks? You go to any baby <laughs> company, like, seriously, Suze, you go to any of those stores and they go, oh, baby shower, ding, 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 money goes up. 30 bucks to go to an event where you don't have to take a present? I'm in. Yeah, mm. interesting. Just Suze. confirming <laughs> everything I knew about you, Rob. Just in that... <laughs> <laughs> just in that. What does that, that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Means I'm going to bring a present. It's like, oh, that's great. Like, ding, ding, no, ding. No, my like, wife <laughs> hates it because when she goes shopping, she looks for all the deals. She's going from store to store. She spends hours. I'm like, in there. <laughs> That'll do, yeah. that'll do, I'm done, I'm out that's, the door. That's on sale, I'll grab that, and two of those. Are but... you that physical when you shop? That's like <laughs> That's me! I'm, I'm like a, a ranting bull! <laughs> like a, like <laughs> a bull in a baby shopper. store. Um, now, would you get, Suze, would you go to a gender reveal if someone said, hey, 30 bucks each? Uh, look, I would if it were a very dear friend or family member. I just have an issue with this. Uh, call me old school, but I think that's a good thing. If, you've, if you can afford to go out and invite people for a gender reveal, which I have an issue with in itself, I just don't get the whole gender reveal thing. But um, if you're going to throw something and say, come and honour us, come and celebrate us in this beautiful new life, pay for it, yeah. pay for the people. And, mm. and if you can't afford to, you can do something very easily at home. You say everybody brings a dish. It's very communal. It has that collegial feel. <laughs> bring a plate. And everyone thinks what? it's an actual <laughs> plate. Oh, new generation say, do I just bring a plate? Here's my idea. Don't do a it. gender reveal party. So you know what? Do that. Ask for the 30 bucks, but just yeah. know they're going to be talking about you in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can you believe Cheryl is asking us to pay? Yes, my, Larry. I went, my... I went to a 40th and, and my, uh, you know, a friend and invited us to this really swanky restaurant. And it said on the invitation, formal invitation, come and enjoy lunch with us. And then at the end, everybody had to line up and pay for themselves. Yeah. And we all brought gifts. I don't know. I think mm. like, there's something on the nose about that a bit. My, yeah. my, my beautiful late mother-in-law uh, first arrived from Poland and the neighbours invited her over, very bad English, invited her over and said, bring a plate. <laughs> so she took a, she just took a plate. <laughs> Just, I love that. Like an just, empty plate. Just walked in with an empty plate. <laughs> That's the solution. Rob, Rob Sue, thank you very much for that. Yeah, thanks.